Have you ever wondered how Andhra became the powerhouse of Indian aquaculture? Did you ever realize it that majority of the Indian fisheries export earnings comes from Andhra Pradesh? Have you ever thought how Andhra left all the states far behind and became pioneer in terms of fish production? Hi, this is Chanakya Naidu with the Fisheries Chanakya Niti presents Curiosity Streams. Let's jump into the video. Before knowing about the supremacy of Andhra in Indian aquaculture, let's know about its flashback. Aquaculture in India has a long history. In the east coast of India, traditional fish culture in small ponds existed from many years. In fact, Indian aquaculture developed first in the northeast, where fish was a major component of the diet. In course of time, significant advances were made in West Bengal in the early 19th and 20th century by breeding carps in the burns. By the early 1950s, the West Bengal became the most advanced in this and the Calcutta has become the trade epicenter. Later, fish culture received notable attention in the state of Tamil Nadu then Madras Presidency. Subsequently, other states initiated fish culture. These states include Andhra, Mysore, Baroda and even the Punjab state. The coastal state of Andhra Pradesh located in southeast of India was one of the country's largest in both area and population until its division into two smaller states Andhra and Telangana in 2014. An extensive surface water irrigation system creates an excellent environment for high productivity agriculture in the coastal districts of Andhra Pradesh. The two main rivers Krishna and Godavari are added advantage to this state. Prior to its division, Andhra Pradesh was among the top three producers of rice, maize, sunflower, groundnut and cotton in the whole country. And Andhra Pradesh is country's leading producer of poultry meat for many years. From the late 19th century, the predominant increase in the number of capitalistic farmers and irrigation coverage in the coastal districts of Andhra Pradesh made it agriculture powerhouse. These capitalist farmers in the consequent years constructed many irrigation canals and commercialized the agriculture. Over the few years, they earned huge profits and started economic diversification and urban migration. The state government of Andhra Pradesh has initiated fish culture in ponds around the region of Kolleru in 1976. Initially, 133 fish ponds covering an area of 2000 hectares were constructed by the state government. This culture has provided an early success. This made the entrepreneurial capitalist commercial farmer class people to reverse migrate from urban cities to their native places and invest a huge amount of money in aquaculture. They have bought many hectares of land in and around Koleru Lake in Krishna and Godavari districts. Thus, they played a key role as early investors in freshwater aquaculture of Andhra Pradesh. After this, during 1980s to 1990s, the aquaculture in Andhra Pradesh had a great takeoff. During the first half of the 1980s decade, the farmers of Andhra Pradesh used to import fish seed from private hatcheries of Kolkata from West Bengal. During this time, the output of fish production around Koleru Lake used to be 6,000 to 7,000 tons. 
the farmers have earned quite well with this effect a intensified reverse migration has taken place from metro cities like hyderabad to rural areas of krishna and godavari districts during this time many private hatcheries were established in andhra pradesh many thousands of acres were taken for lease and hundreds of hectares of flood prone agriculture land was converted to aquaculture ponds as a result the fish production around kolleru region has increased many folds and it reached to 70000 tons by the end of 1987 during the late 1980s a delegation of influential andhra pradesh fish farmers and local politicians approached the chief minister of west bengal to enable them to sell and auction the fish produced in andhra pradesh in the haura market for which the union leaders of west bengal have accepted during the 1980s carps were the most cultured species but in 1990s traders from west bengal started marketing pangasius seed in andhra pradesh in response to which the state has started the culture of pangasius during these 1990s the role of university and government extension agencies became very less pivotal and most of the new technological developments originated from the process of farmer led innovation and experimentation andhra pradesh farmers during this period did continuous experimentations and achieved continuous yield improvements by stocking increasingly large fingerlings improving pond management and increasing pond volumes during the same period the carp farming got spreaded from kolleru to all other coastal districts of andhra pradesh like guntur prakasham srikakulam and nellore many paddy sugarcane and cotton farmers have converted their agriculture land to aquaculture ponds coming to brackish water farming shrimp culture in india had its origin in nellore district of andhra pradesh in 1978 initial shrimp culture has started the commercial scale shrimp farming using semi intensive methods started only in the late 1980s and the early 1990s with the setting up of large ventures in the coastal regions of nellore of andhra pradesh and tamil nadu consequently mud crab culture has also started in the coastal districts of tamil nadu and andhra pradesh both these practices have made farmers to earn high profits the freshwater and brackish water aquaculture after experiencing a huge boom and rapid expansion during 1980s and 1990s faced severe setbacks and blows in the mid 1990s the shrimp culture was devastated by viral diseases like white spot syndrome virus and more or less at the same time a person named s jagannathan who is the chairman of gram swaraj committee has filed a writ petition case seeking a ban on coastal aquaculture as a result during 1996 the supreme court of india has ordered the demolishment of all semi intensive and intensive aquaculture farms within 500 meters from the coastline this resulted in huge chaos aquaculture farmers of andhra pradesh fell in huge dilemma as a consequence the fish production of andhra pradesh state has steeply fell down it is during this period some farmers of andhra pradesh has taken up fresh water prawn that is macrobrachium rosenbergi culture later the ban was lifted but the damage due to the diseases is continued during this time to combat the prevailing challenges of penis monodon farming indian government 
has considered vanami which is widely cultivated in the western countries as an alternate species in india the pilot scale introduction was permitted in 2003 and the commercial farming of vanami has started in 2009 from then there was no looking back even though there were minor disease outbreaks due to the highly appreciable characters of vanami large number of farmers has taken up its culture from 264 hectare culture area of vanami in 2009 andhra pradesh has came a long way in, in 2021 the vanami culture area of andhra pradesh is nearly 72000 hectares during these 10 years large number of feed plants processing plants have been established in and around the state at present out of india's 13 million tons of fish production andhra pradesh alone produces 3.5 million tons of fish which is nearly one third of total indian fish production no other indian state produces 1 million tons of fish except andhra pradesh which produces 3.5 million tons of fish andhra pradesh alone contributes 40% to the india's fisheries export earnings of the 8 lakh tons of shrimp produced in india andhra pradesh alone produces 6 lakh tons of shrimp andhra pradesh fisheries sector has the fastest growth rate in the last 11 years the fisheries sector of andhra pradesh contributes around 7.4% to state's gdp as a result the government of newly formed andhra pradesh state has identified its fisheries sector as growth engine for its social and economic development and it accords top priority and investment in fisheries and aquaculture sector with this i hope you all came to know how andhra has become a key player in indian aquaculture this is chanakya from fisheries chanakiniti signing off Thank mm-hmm. you.